Yo, what's up guys? I'm Yannick from the Pichu School and welcome back to a brand new video on our channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a whistle like Mike Williams and Mesto using a free plugin and I will show you how it works and what you can do with it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and without further ado, let's get straight into this. If you are looking for some future house and bounce presets, then make sure to check out the link in the description, which will lead you to our newest pack called Futuristic. It's a really cool future house and bounce inspired preset and sample pack that can definitely help you to take your productions to the next level. Last year, I was at dance fair attending the Mesto Masterclass, and then he showed this really cool plugin called Whistler. It's free actually. I will also leave a link in the description uh, so you can download it. Um, and it's just a pretty basic plugin, um, and it sounds like this. The Whistler plugin has some uh, settings. The first setting I'm going to show you is this character setting. You can turn on and off the retro knob, uh, which will make it sound different. So without, it sounds like this. But if you put it on, it sounds like this. I prefer to leave it on retro, because if you turn it on, it will lower the quality of the synth. Over here you have the vibrato setting, if you put up the depth and the rate you can hear that it's getting more and more vibrato. Um, so if you want to get the typical vibrato sound then you can turn this ones up. Over here you can control the glide of the plugin and I think that's a great option for this plugin because if you turn it on, You can already hear that the notes glide into each other, can also give the whistle a more realistic effect. Then in the middle of this plugin you have the filter settings, but I'm not a fan of using them so I'll leave them how they are. Then at the bottom of this plugin there is this M settings, which is basically the ADSR, attack, decay, sustain and release. And with this you can change the envelope of the volume, so if I put the attack up, it will take longer uh, before the plugin reaches its loudest volume. And if you want to shorten the sound, you can lower down the decay. So you get a more plucky effect. And over here you can just put up the volume. Now let me show you how I would mix this whistle. Uh, I will start off with an EQ, just a fruity paramedic EQ 2. Uh, let's cut out a lot of the low frequencies with this low pass. And I would also lower down a bit of the resonant frequencies over here. Like this. And let's just boost a bit of the high end. And you can also put some reverb on it. Let's do it with this reverb 2, Fruity Reverb 2. Uh, let's, let's add a bit of a low cut to cut out the low frequencies of the reverb. Uh, let's leave this like it is. Uh, put up the wet level. and add a bit more of decay. And if you want the whistle to be further away in your mix, you can lower down the dry knob. And I usually do this when I have the whistle in my breaks to be more in the background of the whole track. That was it for this tutorial, I thought this maybe would be helpful for you to use in your own productions. And let me know what you think of it if you are going to use this plugin. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.